I do! I do believe! What happens when ghosts stop being fictional and start getting real? One house, one breather, and a never-ending maelstrom of competing malevolent spirits have all come down to this. Over the previous several months, through single elimination tournaments, physical challenges, and psyche static brushing with the Eldritch, we've been an under contestant to the final pair. At the end of this show, one of our two contestants will no longer have to abandon all hope, and all that stands in their way is one living CPA from the Leuton Touche Wilton, Connecticut office. Let's meet our finalists. That is Chadwick, renowned gadabout. Joan Wellington, Sandhog. I'm not here to make friends. I just hope that whatever happens, we're able to remain friends. I'm not here to make friends. Contestants will be given two individual challenges. The first for creature comfort, the second for advantage in the terminal round. Stare into the infinite and know there is no beginning and no end. Find what gruesome task awaits you. I really dig this challenge. Time is just really so precious, you know? And the living rarely appreciate it. So I decided to remind her of it in the most visceral way possible. I think it went really well. The producers have certainly given me a challenge with this one. Those waggish rapscallions figure I could never manage with just this mason jar and this pair of dice. But I think I've managed to conjure up a rather devilishly clever plan. All credit goes to an Eaton education in the classics. How is she not getting this? I clearly saw her operating the modern telegraph machine earlier. All she has to do is decode the Morse code and know to turn to page 312 of Olson's uh, British book of birds, unabridged mind you, and find the red-bested Iberian swallow, uh, which as any child who's read their Cervantes knows. Advantage to Joan. She's won this shot of the river left, granting her hours respite from the knowledge of how she flitted away her all too finite existence on this mortal plane. When we return, fire will rain from the heavens and the dead will walk the earth anew. And we're back! Let's check on our contestants going into the penultimate round. Can Thaddeus regain the advantage? Will Joan's victory be worth the crushing weight of regret? The hour was nice. The crushing weight of regret afterward, less nice. But I think I've got what it takes to dig myself back out. Those represents both revenge and flying eastward in the winter rather than southerly, so if anyone wants to know where to find my extensive collection of- Love a good parlor mystery. So you might say that this challenge is right in my wheelhouse. I'm going to go check the wheelhouse. Finished. You may not know this about me, but I'm a digger. So. I'm not going to let her uh, dash it over eagerness get to me. I'm going to do my job slowly and thoroughly as befits a gentleman of leisure. Leisure. I really nicked the tin of biscuits with this challenge. Shudder to think if I'd gotten hers. My lily white hands! Well, first of all, there is no wheelhouse. But then I started looking at the land tax records, and it turns out that there was a nepotistic contractor who used substandard plumbing in order to shave his uh, margins, which then, in turn, led to, um, the, the blasted shortcuts led to a waterman explosion at the local school. So, uh, the there was a murder. Really? I had time to do some digging. Also, there is a frame clipping of it in the hall. I'm not here to make friends. No, but seriously, it was horrible. One of the children went full on idiot. Could never pronounce his J's again.
Coming from a day of setbacks, Thaddeus is going to have to pull out all the stops to claim this victory from Joan. They think I'm foiled, but I've got a plot up my sleeve that just might do the trick. There are no rules for the final challenge. It's anything goes. Manifestation, poltergeistry, or simple apparitionism. Points will be awarded for style, substance, and whether the breather continues to maintain her sanity. You really want to go second here. It's a bigger advantage than people realize. If you didn't spend your life working on the sand tunnels. What's he doing? Whatever it is, it certainly looks like it's going to need a lot of prep work. He's certainly psyching himself up for it. Oh wait, oh my, it looks like he's going for a full possession. Can he maintain against a breather as frustratingly stayed as this one? It's a risky move. No one has pulled it off successfully in years. Oh, she's a fighter. But it looks like, looks like, yes, total control. Finally, to taste the pleasures of modern life. Indoor plumbing, modern telegraph machines, electricity. Ooh, tough luck for Thaddeus. Actually killing the breather is an instant disqualification. Sorry, Thaddeus, but as the runner-up, you do receive an eternity's blissful existence in Elysium. Meanwhile, Joan gets to stick around here for our Tournament of Champions. And don't forget to tune in next season, where we've already got our first contestant. I've been Azazel, your host. Thank you, and good night. chances. There's a lot of tough competition, but you can never count out a CPA. Eh? Eh? <sighs> Whatever. I'm not here to make friends.